As we awaken to a new day, let's embrace this week with focus on God's creation for the week. Let's pause to consider the intricate beauty and the impact of each creation. They act as a beacon of light in our lives, casting an illuminating and enlightening glow of divine wisdom upon our existence. They constantly remind us of the gentle guidance that God provides us in our daily lives. They are truly extraordinary creations that have been endowed with the power to influence our lives, our thoughts, and our actions. These creations, these blessings from the heavens are not arbitrary or momentary. They are not fleeting. They instead persist through all of time, vibrating in the ether of our everyday existence. Constantly around us, they are always present, reminding us of our spiritual path. They are celestial whispers, divine messages, a language of the gods that speaks of divine providence, hinting at a wisdom that is far beyond our earthly understanding. These creations are not to be disregarded as mere whispers in the wind. They are profound messages from the divine carrying the weight of divine intent. They are the sacred echoes of guidance from the heavens, a litany of ethereal insights that resonate through our mortal lives, reminding us of our spiritual heritage. They echo with the promise of spiritual guidance and enlightenment, offering us the opportunity to connect with the divine on a deeper level. They serve as bridges between our mortal selves and the celestial plane, constructs of divine wisdom that guide us. They provide us with an eternally flowing stream of heavenly enlightenment, flowing from the heavens into our lives. They are the divine messages, reminders and lessons that seep into the very fabric of our lives, shaping our thoughts, actions and beliefs. These messages of creation are not transient murmurs, but a relentless surge of spiritual enlightenment. They are celestial codes deciphering the divine intent. They provide us with spiritual clarity and guidance that seeps into every corner of our lives, influencing our thoughts, actions, and the very essence of our being. They are celestial codes deciphering the divine intent, providing spiritual clarity that seeps into the very fabric of our lives. In our first scene, we delve into the creation of the universe, this exploration isn't just a simple contemplation, it's a journey, a voyage into the farthest reaches of human understanding and belief. We're not merely considering a theoretical perspective or a hypothetical proposition. We are delving into an entrenched belief, an ideology that has weathered the winds of time, survived epochs, shaped civilizations, and continues to shape our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. The creation of the universe isn't just a belief, it's an age-old conviction, a deeply rooted philosophy that has been whispered into the ears of children for generations, cascading through time like the gentle yet persistent trickle of a river carving through rock. It's the thread that weaves together the tapestry of human history, the ink that scribes our collective narrative. This concept, this notion of a universe birthed from an unknown power or force, is not simply an idea, it's a phenomenon, a fundamental aspect of our existence that reaches far beyond the confines of our understanding. It's not just a part of us, it's a part of everything around us, permeating every civilization, every culture, every creed, every corner of our world. The concept of the universe's creation is not something that can be easily defined or confined. It's an ideology that is as boundless as the starry expanse above us, as limitless as the cosmos itself. It is not a concept that is whispered in hushed tones. It is one that is declared with a mighty roar echoing through the ages, reverberating in the hearts of all who dare to question, to wonder, to dream. Its existence isn't confined to textbooks or scientific journals. It's a part of our daily lives. It's in the stars that twinkle in the night sky, in the sun that rises each morning, in the seasons that change with rhythmic certainty. It's in the air we breathe, the water we drink, the earth beneath our feet. It's in every atom, every molecule, every strand of DNA. The concept of the universe's creation isn't confined within the boundaries of mere whispers from the heavens. It is more, so much more. Moving on to the second scene, we delve into a journey of exploration, venturing into the creation of the world we inhabit. We are thrown into the unknown, the unseen, the uncharted territories of the inception of our home planet. To understand this, we must throw away all our pre-existing notions and dive into this enigmatic abyss with an open mind. The creation of the Earth is shrouded in mystery, a divine secret 
that has been locked away since the dawn of time. As we delve deeper into this awe-inspiring scene, it becomes clear that this is not just an act of creation, but a testament to the majesty of the universe. It is as if the Earth is a child born of the cosmos, nurtured by the celestial forces that rule the infinity of space. The divine and cosmic intertwine in a dance of creation, painting a picture of the origins of life that is extraordinary in its complexity. We see the birth of the Earth as an event that is not just divine, but celestial. A birth that is not just of matter, but of energy, of light, of life. The Earth was born from a cosmic womb, a nebula of star stuff, a crucible of creation that forged our world from the raw materials of the universe. The creation of the Earth is not just a physical event, but a spiritual one, a cosmic symphony played out on the canvas of the cosmos. What we observe is a celestial symphony, a divine exchange of wisdom, a concert of complex auditory sensations that give birth to an unparalleled harmony. It is as if we are privileged to listen to an interstellar orchestra of the heavens, each note a star, each melody a galaxy, each rhythm a testament to the cosmic dance of creation and destruction. This celestial symphony is a song sung by the universe and lullaby of creation that has been playing since the dawn of time. This divine exchange of wisdom, a concert of complex auditory sensations, is a symphony of sounds that resonate with the rhythm of creation. Like a divine orchestra, it is a symphony of the cosmos, a testament to the beauty and complexity of the universe. This celestial symphony, this divine exchange of wisdom, this cosmic concert, is a testament to the intricate dance of creation, a melody of existence that captures the heart of the universe. This celestial symphony, this divine exchange of wisdom, is a concert of complex auditory sensations that give birth to an unparalleled harmony. The symphony is a testament to the interconnectedness of the universe, a melody of existence that underscores our place in the cosmos. It is an ode to creation, a hymn to the divine, a tribute to the celestial forces that shape our world. This celestial symphony, this divine exchange of wisdom, is a concert of complex auditory sensations that give birth to an unparalleled harmony. Our third scene centers on the creation of nature. This is a breathtaking revelation that emerges from the depths of the universe, a glaring spectacle that capably captures the majestic grandeur of this cosmic theater. We, the captivated audience, are drawn into the spiraling canvas of radiant hues and celestial bodies arrayed in a panorama of unimaginable splendor. An astronomical masterpiece, it's a sight that dwarfs our human understanding and boggles our earthly senses. As spectators on this cosmic stage, we are surrounded by celestial bodies that twinkle and shimmer in the vast expanse of space. Each star, each galaxy, each nebula, all contributing to the grand cosmic ballet, spinning in harmony with the cosmic tune. These stars, the glowing pearls scattered across the velvet backdrop of the night sky, are each a testament to the grandeur of the universe, a testament to the unseen hands that crafted this cosmic opus. We are awash in the ethereal glow of this cosmic spectacle, a light that brilliantly illuminates the unknown corners of the universe. Its luminescence reaches us across the yawning chasm of space, a beacon, a lighthouse in the cosmic sea, guiding lost souls towards enlightenment, towards knowledge. Its gleaming radiance is not just a literal illumination, but a metaphorical one as well, shedding light on our path to wisdom, understanding and truth. This celestial glow, this beacon of knowledge, is not merely a symbolic communication from the cosmos. It is an extraordinary communique, a cryptic message encoded in the language of the universe, whispered in the quiet rustling of the galaxies, written in the dancing patterns of the constellations, and engraved in the timeless cosmic chronicles. Every flicker, every pulse, every shimmer of this celestial glow is a testament to the cosmic wisdom. It is an echo of the grand cosmic symphony, a verse in the grand cosmic poem. Each flicker of light is a letter, each pulse a word, each shimmer a sentence in the universal language of light and darkness. It is a pulsating beacon that radiates across the cosmic sea, lighting up the universe with its wisdom and knowledge, beckoning all to partake in the grand cosmic dance of creation. This is no ordinary communication. It is not a mere flicker in the vast darkness, but a pulsating beacon of wisdom and knowledge. In the fourth scene, we discuss the creation of animals. From the smallest microorganisms to the largest beasts that roam the Earth, the life that fills our planet is diverse and intricate. 
an observable testament to the grand design of nature. This is not just a topic we address lightly. It is an immersive exploration, diving deep into the foundations of existence itself, probing into the secrets that life holds. This wisdom, this profound understanding of the world and its inhabitants is more than just an abstract concept. It is a study of life's architecture, of the delicate balance that allows a bird to soar through the sky or a fish to glide effortlessly through the depths. It is a celebration of the inherent beauty in every creature, the unique attributes that define their existence and impact our own. We delve into the evolutionary processes, the genetic coding, the environmental adaptations that have sculpted and molded these creatures over eons, shaping them into the forms we see today. The wisdom we seek is a dance with the nature, an intricate ballet of knowledge and understanding that swirls around us, ever elusive, ever inspiring. It is an invitation to ponder upon the miracles that inhabit our world, to appreciate the splendor that is often overlooked in our pursuit of progress. It is an ethereal spectacle that enchants all who dare to explore its depths. This exploration, however, is not just about mere observation. It is a call to action, a plea for conservation, a reminder of our responsibility towards these co-inhabitants of our planet. Every species has a role to play, a contribution to make, and it's our duty to ensure their survival, to preserve the delicate web of life that sustains us all. And as we delve into the mystery of creation, the symbiosis of life and the diversified forms it takes, we find ourselves on an intellectual voyage, a journey through the cosmos of enlightenment. It's a captivating journey that seizes our attention, inviting us to reconsider our perspectives, challenging us to expand our horizons. Every step of this journey, every revelation, every discovery is a spark that ignites our curiosity, fuels our passion and refuses to let go. Our fifth scene delves into the creation of humans, it's a voyage into the unknown, a journey beyond what we can see or touch, into the realm of the unimaginable. It's a foray into the unfathomable depths of existence, into the surreal realm of the primordial. This scene seeks to pull back the veil on the intricacies of our origin, offering a fresh perspective on the very essence of what it means to be human. Not just an exploration, it invokes a sense of wonder, a sense of awe. It's like diving deep into an ocean of mysteries, swimming in the currents of creativity and evolution. Each fragment of the story, every detail of the scene, is crafted with the precision of a master storyteller, aimed at stimulating not just the senses, but the very core of our consciousness. This scene opens the door to a realm that exists beyond the limits of our physical world. It takes us on a journey that transcends the confines of our everyday existence, it leads us into the heart of a mystery, an enigma that pushes us to question the nature of our existence and the world around us. It's not just a narrative, it's an odyssey, a saga that unfolds with each passing moment. Each element, each beat of the scene is designed to challenge our understanding, to push the boundaries of our perception. The narrative is not linear, but rather a spiral, pulling us deeper and deeper into the web of intrigue. The scene offers more than just a story. It is a riddle wrapped in a mystery, a puzzle that demands to be solved. It doesn't just make us think, it makes us question, makes us wonder. It challenges us to look beyond the obvious, to search for meaning in the seemingly insignificant. The scene is like a painting, a tapestry woven with the threads of time and creation. Each brushstroke, each thread adds a new layer to the narrative, deepening its complexity and enriching its texture. It's not just visual, it's experiential, visceral. It doesn't just show, it reveals, it unravels. This scene is an exploration of a message, a communication that is not confined to the world of sound that we are so accustomed to. It's an auricular revelation, yet it goes beyond just what the ears can hear. In the final scene, we discuss the divine light in all of creation. This divine illumination, a powerful entity, is not just an ordinary light, it is an extraordinary entity a heavenly luminescence that surpasses all physical and metaphysical boundaries of understanding. This light is unique, different from what we perceive daily. It is not the light emitted by the sun, the moon or the stars. It is a divine radiance that has a deeper meaning in the grand scheme of our existence. Its intensity, its purity is not something we can measure with mere physical devices. It goes beyond the spectrum of visible light, surpassing all natural phenomena. 
It is a light that binds us all, infusing us with divine wisdom, guiding us in our spiritual journey. It is this divine light that has been the subject of numerous ancient scriptures, the beacon of wisdom weaved within their sacred texts. These scriptures, the sacred books of wisdom from ancient times, have spoken about this light in various forms. The divine light is mentioned as the ultimate truth in ancient Indian scriptures, a guiding force in the religious texts of Israel, the symbol of ultimate wisdom in Greek philosophy, and as the ultimate energy in Taoist philosophy. This light that we speak of emerges from these creations, ancient scriptures woven with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This divine light, the radiance we speak of, is indeed the life force that permeates every living being. It is a radiant energy, a luminous power that is within us and around us. It is a part of us and we are a part of it. It guides us, nurtures us and illuminates our path as we traverse through the labyrinth of life. It glistens through the unseen spiritual realm, providing us with guidance and wisdom. It is a cosmos of divine energy that pulsates with life, light and wisdom. It is an ultimate beacon guiding us through the harsh, unforgiving and vast wilderness of our existence.